Hi friends, I'm here today to show you these cute, sweet, sweet little purses um, that I have been showing on my blog. I did it for my downline and I've had several, I've done it in a couple classes and I've had several people from um, that are not local ask that I do a little tutorial on this. Here's one of this. When you find out how simple this is, you're just going to die, really. Um, what you need to make this is a die, your big shot and your and the scallop envelope die. Now you can see I've laid a piece of DSP on here to give you a um, an, an idea of what the outline of the die looks like. It's a sweet die to have in your in your arsenal. Um, so let's get started. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your big shot. You're going to need an acrylic plate. Acrylic plate. You're going to need to have a piece of cardstock to shim with. Now, see, everybody's big shot is different. Mine is different than um, I have two, and actually, each each of them are different. And I have to rethink my process of, of my thickness of uh, my sandwich, depending on which big shot I'm using. So I'm going to put the acrylic plate down, the cardstock. Here is my die, scallop envelope die. I'm going to put one piece of DSP. Now they recommend only cutting one piece at a time. This is not like the others. And then I'm going to use this scoring pad. Uh, it allows the score lines to not be cut through, but it cut, does cut the rest of it. So it um, gives you some nice score lines. Okay, I'm going to run this through see how it does woohoo awesome okay and then I'm gonna retain this piece because I'm gonna cut off about a half inch on that side to make the handle of the purse all right get that off to the side get rid of my big shot all right now the next step is we're gonna take and we're just gonna I should have my bone folder but it's not readily available so I'm not gonna worry about it all right and the first thing you want to do is you want to cut off leaving a half inch and you're cutting off opposite the scallop side okay leaving a half inch all right now I've already cut two so I did it before I started shooting the video I'm gonna cut this one off leaving a half inch now if you're gonna put something heavy in this little purse when you're done you're gonna to want to use something other than snail uh, you want to use the green cap glue uh, snail, I'm sorry, Tombow, or uh, use uh, sticky strip. You know that two-way sticky strip stuff? Okay, so the next step is to line up the score lines. Okay, see how I did that? Then we're going to do the same on the sides. Line it up there. Okay. The green cap glue works is wonderful. So I mean that's what I've done on my other ones. Okay, now this guy's gonna fold back and this guy's gonna fold back. One of which you can go ahead and glue down. Because this just gonna be the back of the purse. So cute, 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 cute. The front one you're gonna leave open because we're gonna do we're gonna make this little design here, okay? So I'm gonna take and I have punched previous for three quarter three quarter circle punch and I use the soft suede and I punched a circle and I'm gonna glue that down into the center. There we go. like so and then I punched out this sweet out of the boho punch this sweet out of um, Baja Breeze I believe um, no pool party this sweet little scallop circle and I'm gonna put that right on top of my maybe <sighs> stinker Ooh, that's so cute all right now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take soft suede see this paper is a little strange in that it looks like it's been uh, sponged by somebody so i'm just going to take and i'm going to add more sponging 
to the opposite side just to kind of make it all fit in. See how once I fold that back it'll fit in really really nice. I hope you can see that. Yep. And I think I might even sponge around the edge of the purse. I like to sponge. Some people don't like to sponge. I love it. Love it. I think it gives dimension. All right. Oh, and my handle. Remember, I was going to retain that piece, which I did. And I think, I don't know. I think I like this side. But see how this one side looks sponged? So I'm going to just make them both look sponged. Okay. Done with that. Okay, so the next step is to put the brad in. I think I'm going to use the green brad. And I'm going to use a hole punch. Our, oh, come on. Um, our 16th hole punch. You can use the little bit bigger one. Or a paper piercer. That's my favorite. Oh, boy. That looked like it wasn't lined up, so I moved it. Okay. So now I'm going to take the paper piercer and try my best to hit the middle. And I did. Well, move it over a little bit more. All right. Run my brad through. How cute is that? All right. There you go. And I'm going to adhere it down next is to add the strap and you want to put this on the pattern that you want to be outside because you're going to tuck it in and and put it on the inside right in here okay there you go all right, it's done, yay, cute. You can put some chocolates in there. It's great for Easter. Put a little note card if you want. Fun, 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 quick and easy. You could whip out 30 of these in no time. So um, if you do one, would you send, me, send me a picture? I'd love to see it. Um, if you need any help, let me know. I uh, hope you'll try a bunch of these and see you next time.